Hello, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will understand about the neurotoxin. The neurotoxin is the toxin which that affect and destructive to the nerve tissue, causing the neurotoxicity. So, so the toxin that are destructive to nerve tissue. Example is lead, ethanol, the drinking alcohol too much glutamate excessive glutamate while the normal glutamate is the functional for the brain and the nitric oxide is the excessive if but the normal is no problem botulinum uh, toxin and the tetan tetanus toxin which that is released from the bacteria uh, and the uh, and the tetrodotoxins so this is the central nervous system, the brain and spinal cord. Let's understand about the brain function. The brain function, brain contain interneurons, which that integrate and learn as well as give the signal to the motor neuron and sensory neuron work. So this is a neurotransmitter, is the presynaptic neuron, will transmit the signal toward the postsynaptic neuron as an interneuron. Due to the depolarization when sodium and potassium exchange, like the calcium and increase will lead to exocytosis of the neurotransmitter, will bind. It can be a glutamate, it can be a dopamine, or adrenaline and noradrenaline. In this way, the sodium should be moved inside, while the potassium should be moved outside, will lead to depolarization of the neuron. The inside will lead to positive and outside is a negative which that will lead to depolarization to transmit the signal to another neuron as a synapse to the synapse. This is the basically whenever the sodium will increase inside as well as the chloride. Uh, so the intracellular cation, the potassium will move outside the two potassium and three sodium. Three sodium will move inside, will lead to depolarization while the it resting to depolarization. So this is the nerve impulse and the ion constriction across the cell membrane already uh, should be uh, uh, distributed normally. So whenever it will be disturbed will lead to impulse. The basic concept of reflux arc we will understand now. For example the skin. So the skin is a sensory neuron. See this is the dorsal root and this is the spinal cord and gray matter and white matter while the muscle is the effector while the effector is the skin. Sensory neuron transmits the signal from the skin toward the dorsal root of ganglion and in this way the interneuron will integrate and in this way the motor neuron will give the signal toward the muscle via a neuromuscular junction the muscle will contract as a result as a response. So the neuromuscular junction is important. Anyway, let's understand about the neuromuscular junction first. Because we should understand about the basic concept, then we will understand about the neurotoxins. This is the presynaptic neuron. The action potential involved the three sodium uh, ion will move inside through sodium channel while the when open, while the potassium channel will be open. Potassium uh, get its channel, the two potassium will move out, will lead to depolarization. This is the nerve action potential, will lead to uh, activate the calcium get its channel, will lead to calcium move inside. In this way, the calcium entry will lead to exocytosis of acetylcholine neurotransmitter vesicle, and in this way, the release of the acetylcholine will bind with the acetylcholine receptor. With the specific receptor will lead to endocyte and influx of the calcium due to the sodium first influx will lead to trigger the calcium in the uh, t tubules so this is a t tubule remember t tubule will involve will lead to calcium move inside and in this way the endoplasmic reticulum will lead to activate to efflux of the calcium into the cytoplasm will lead to use the muscle contraction when bind with the troponin in the actin uh, filament will lead to contraction of the muscle but this is the basic overview for understanding normally the neurotoxin effects is ion constriction as across the cell membrane and between the synapse as well as excitotoxicity or apoptosis will occur of the neuron 
will lead to damage the neuron it means the whole nervous system can be damaged the cause the to uh, causes of the toxin uh, we will understand the toxin causes the central nervous system damage and the uh, intellectual disability while the uh, persistent memory impairments and epilepsy as well as dementia the neurotoxin mediated peripheral nervous system damage and the neuropathy and myopathy is common neurotoxin mediated injury also occur so i hope you make sense about that we will understand about the neurotoxin now and because uh, i hope you have uh, concepted about the basic uh, reflex arc as well as the synapse as well as neuromuscular junction so let's begin to understand this the motor neuron will transmit the signal toward the muscle remember the sodium channel will be open and the sodium will move inside potassium will move outside and and the against the concentration gradient and the calcium will trigger will lead to calcium gated channel will be open and in this way the exocytosis of the vesicle will occur this release of the uh, release of the neurotransmitter will target to the neurotransmitter receptor the acetylcholine receptor after this acetylcholine for example will bind with the acetylcholine receptor will trigger the sodium channel and this sodium channel will trigger the calcium channel so i am not drawing the sodium channel but you can understand about that the t tubule the calcium channel will move inside the endoplasmic reticulum activation to again that same mechanism the troponin bind with the actin filament and the calcium will bind will t to trigger the contraction of the muscle this is the tetro tetrodotoxin is the inhibitor of the sodium channel in this way the whole mechanism the neuromuscular junction at the muscle contraction will be impossible and the tetra uh, tetra ethyl ethyl ammonium will inhibit the potassium channel while the chlorotoxin inhibit the cal cal chloride channel and the calcium mediated cytotoxicity due to the lead will uh, basically uh, damage the chloride channel botulinum toxin and the tetanus toxin will inhibit the exocytosis of the vesicle while the conotoxin will inhibit the calcium channel and the uh, and the banga bangarotoxin and curare is inhibitor of the neurotransmitter receptor while this is the antagonist uh, 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 anatoxin alpha is the receptor antagonist and the uh, 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 caraboxin and the 251 n bom and jwh018 and 5 meodipt is the inhibitor on the other hand the cytoskeleton interference and ammonia and arsenic will inhibit the cytoskeleton function in this way the blood brain barrier is important due to the aluminum and mercury will lead to disrupt and the aluminum and mercury will inhibit the blood brain barrier damage the blood brain barrier will lead to damage the nervous system the neuron for example the microglial cell and uh, so in this way the neurotoxin with a multiple effect is we will discuss now the ethanol damage several part when excessive ethanol consumption chronically and hexane and the mpp positive the toxin interfere with the oxidative phosphorylation in mitochondria by inhibit the complex 1 and death will occur nitric oxide ischemia uh, in cerebellum if excessive and glutamate excessive will lead to necrosis while the complication is due to this neurotoxin with multiple effects will lead to huntington's disease huntington huntington disease means the cerebral cortex will be damaged epilepsy stroke edema inflammation so i hope you make sense about the neurotoxin basically the neurotoxin is the toxin which that will target to the nervous system the neuron 
we uh, between the neuromuscular junction between the synapses and the other part of the neurons uh, crossing the blood brain barrier to infect and the damage the nervous system like central nervous system and peripheral nervous system central nervous system uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video bye